that I think creators have literally been asking for something like this for for decades because they've been cut out. Miles will jump in at any point when he thinks that I'm butchering some of the term, terminology. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was just going to say, um, <laughs> think about why cryptocurrency was started. It was started to cut mm. out the middleman, right? And I think, you know, stock media is probably the most greedy market I can think of right now that's so centralised and taking so many fees. I mean, you look at banks, it's like, oh, you might get a 1% fee, a 0.5% fee on a big transfer of a million dollars or whatever. But if you look at stock, they're taking 70%. So it is probably the most centralised thing I can think of that's still in operation today. So mm. the cutting edge of, of us coming in and completely cutting that middleman out is, is going to be huge. Yeah, and I, I think um, as a kind of segue to that, the, the value proposition of Web3 is the inefficiencies and the margin that Web2 takes and incurs. Mm. So I think if you look across all the industries in the world and the ones that have currently the most centralization or the most monopolization and the largest margins they're the industries that present the biggest opportunity for web3 so i think you know stock media is one that is it really easy for us to see there is a bit of a duopoly and a couple of really big players that dictate terms to creators and i think because that's the situation they can then charge extremely high fees um but i think as well they're also not very efficient you know, there's a lot of stock media platforms that have been around for a long time that have a huge database of content that probably isn't very active. Um, they've also got a, a huge amount of logistical um, encumbrance that, that need to take place from signing contracts, um, holding client funds, that all of these little elements, while you might not think about it, as a business internally, that, that all slows things down, makes it more cumbersome and more expensive. So all that means is they're just going to have to pass that on. So I think that's where Web3 is really going to prevail. And I think, you know, stock media, whether it's photography or videography or, you know, as we move into to Web3 and, and the metaverse, whether it's other more commercial assets um, like vectors and other things and assets that can be used within the metaverse, um, I think there's a fantastic opportunity there.